just a second. I'll finish working on this finder window here. I'll close it. Oh, I forgot something. Let's open it again. And the window opened on the other side of the screen. But why? A lot of people asking the same question. That's why I'm making this simple video. Whenever I open a new finder window, it has determined size, location, everything, but I don't like it. I want to change it. Well, it's easy to do. Here is the answer. Just go to Finder, select User, Home with that Finder window, Front, select Show View Options, Command J. Then you should go to User Library folder, then make it visible, Preferences, move this. That's nonsense. It's super easy to do that just like this. I'll give you a very easy example and I believe you can figure it out even before I finish the tutorial. If you did, you can write me about it in the comments below. But now let's start. I'll open up Notes app for example. It doesn't matter which app. Now I'll reposition it, resize it as I want and quit the app. Notice when I open it again, it's exactly at the same location, same size, everything as I said it before. But look at Finder. If I'm somewhere in my projects folder and I close that, go to File, New Finder window, it opens somewhere different. But did you get that? I opened New Finder window. I am not opening the window which I have just closed. And that's exactly what we need to set up. First, look at the directory where New Finder windows open. You can do it from the Finder settings. Here, you can see I have it set up to the Macintosh level. By default, it's set to be in the Recents folder. But you can change that, you can set it to any of the folders you want. I think it makes sense to put it in the Documents folder. But I'll not bother with it now and I'll leave it at the Macintosh level. It's not so important. Now I can close the settings and all I need to do is to open New Finder window and reposition it straight away. Reposition it in the directory you have set before. If you have put the documents there, then go to Documents and then put the video where you want while you are in Documents. Next, you can browse your Finder wherever you want, reposition it again, move it on the side, and once you close it and open new one, it will open in the location you have set before. Just know that if you fully relaunch Finder from the Foursquid menu, it will reset the location to be in the middle. But I can just take the window, move it aside, and once I close this now and reopen it again, it will already be in the new location. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. And if you want to get more tips, then it cannot be easier than clicking on that magical subscribe button. And I'll make sure to bring you some new things on the next Monday, because I'm posting every Monday. So, see you there.